Hey, welcome to the Master Tech Lou channel. I am Lou, and today I am confused. I've been doing this for 20, we'll say 23, 24, 25 years, somewhere in there. Uh, around 96, 97, I started getting into the cars. Now, I started working in the garage at home, in the garage with a buddy's dad. And then, uh, you know, after a while, to a parts store, then to a mechanic shop, then to tech school, then to Mercedes school, and dealerships and independent shops and on my own, all this stuff. I've never seen this happen before. Uh, I've seen some crazy stuff with the batteries, but I need someone to explain to me, because my brain can't process this, what happened. And when I showed everybody in our shop, they all said, wait a minute, what? It didn't make sense, okay? So what I wanna show is when you check a battery with a meter or voltage, right? And you hook up positive to positive and negative to negative, you get the voltage rating. And in the front of it, it doesn't show anything, okay? It doesn't show a plus or minus because you're reading the flow of voltage in the right direction. Now, when I reverse the leads and I put positive on negative and negative on positive, you can't hurt nothing with a meter. It shows the reverse flow of voltage, all right? Why am I showing you this? Because I want to show you about this battery that I have. What happened was, I'm gonna take the tripod with me. Ready, here we go. The customer had a dead battery, so they hooked up their battery charger to it. Not once, not twice, not three times, but four times we can see burn marks on three, let me go over here this way, on three shock studs, okay? Three bolts for the shock. Also uh, the negative terminal and the negative uh, jumping post burn marks because they were hooking in the charger, the charger up backwards. It didn't blow any fuses in the car, which is weird. It normally blows fuses, it did not. Here's what happened. We're not, not sure why this happened. So here's the battery here, all right? Actually, let me take you off. All right, here's the battery. Here's the positive terminal. Here is the negative terminal, okay? So I'm going to hook positive to positive and you can see it's in my positive side and my common black lead right to this black lead here and to ground. You ready for this? Negative, it's flowing in reverse. Now when I hook this backwards, positive to negative, negative to positive, it's showing the proper flow. Make that make sense. It doesn't make sense. What tipped me off also was, let me show you this. I'm gonna get out my jump pack. All right, so I got my jump pack out, and what these do is these will actually, they will actually alert you if you reverse polarity on a battery. So all I have to do to turn it on, ideally, is just hook it up. It's beeping reverse polarity. It's not kicking on the booster. If I go backwards, it actually kicks it on. I don't wanna blow this thing up. I don't know why. Somebody out there, make that make sense. I tried to Google a little bit, but I don't have time to do the Google and to read and to figure out. Uh, there's gotta be an electrical engineer out there somewhere that watches these videos. There's gotta be somebody that uh, works in the battery department or, or battery manufacturing process. Um, the only thing we can come up with is that it was on the charger for so long in reverse that it reversed the polarity of the battery. This is the battery that's been in the car for, you know, since last year. And the customer said it died and they went to jump it or with the charger and that's what happened. So it's not like they just put the battery in. I thought maybe the battery was stamped backwards, but when you look at this battery part number and everything, that's the way they're made. So uh, help me out on this one. I just wanted to share this because in the car world, there's always something new that you come across and having a battery that reversed polarity, uh, polarity on me, man, it was it was driving me bonkers because I'm trying to show mechanics and test or teach them and, and help diagnose the car. But every time I put the jump pack on it, it wouldn't kick over. And when you try to activate the boost, oh man, uh, could have caused some serious damage. So um, hey, hit the subscribe, hit the notification. 
uh, I'll be showcasing more weird things like this and, and just, uh, oh, you can actually see the burn mark on the terminal. Yeah, he tried, tried jumping it backwards so many times, but uh, hey, thanks for watching.